Hi guys, Melissa Johnson Hate Independent Sensi Consultant. Um, I have my empties for the month of December 2023 for my New Year's Eve shirt. <laughs> Put on some makeup today. I'm better. I'm not well, but I'm better. <laughs> so I just got up. I just got a shower. That's usually the best time of the day. <laughs> and you get all your medicine and all of that, and then. The rest of the day goes downhill. <clears throat> so um, I figured I would do this real quick. Um, so empties. Um, it's going to be a mishmash of things. Um, bear with me. Um, Scentsy Counter Clean, we went through um, Scarlet Sunflower. That was really nice. Um, it's not my favorite counter clean ever, but it was nice. Uh, we made it through Jamie Time Body Wash. Love this. This is my favorite thing. I cannot recommend this enough, along with the um, Jamie Time Body Cream. <laughs> they layer beautifully together. <laughs> and um, sorry, my dishwasher is running too. So hopefully I'm loud enough. <laughs> um, I should be. But this is Frisia, Lavender, and Sweet Pea, but you smell it like all day long. So I love layering those two together. Um, my friend Lee, a few days ago, sent a care package. Um, so I have going in the shower right now, the Save Our, Save Our Waves by Jasmine and Sandalwood Soap. This is a vegan soap, so it doesn't have any tallow, so I'm not allergic to it, and it's beautiful. Very beautiful made in the UK. Made in England. <laughs> and it's lovely. I love it. Um, it's beautiful. A Melted Candy Orchard. I talked about this. Um, you guys, I got through a lot. Ignore the B-I-R-D. Hopefully she'll stop that. <clears throat> um, she usually only does it a few times. So I like this a lot when it's the cotton candy. But then every so often I'm picking up, like I was saying, the red dye, um, like in Peeps, the red, I don't like the pink Peeps because, or red icing, looks like Charlie and Gingy. Well, Charlie plays, I don't know about Gingy. <laughs> He's a little rough. Um, the red dye has a, has a, a weird icky flavor. So, Every once in a while I get the scent of the way that red dye tastes and I don't love that. So sometimes I'm really liking it and sometimes not so much. I kind of want to melt it more. I did this whole thing in my office upstairs. I kind of want to get a clam and do it down here and see if, <clears throat> see if I smell that down here in a bigger space. Because like with Starburst Sky, in my bedroom, I got I picked up the tobacco note, but like down here I don't. So I'm kind of wondering if it's gonna be the same thing. Like in smaller spaces, you might be smelling the red dye. <laughs> Whereas down here in a bigger space, you may not notice it as much because I really like the actual cotton candy aspect of it. Um, I got Farah in my party closeout Friday. Um, I got Farah the Flamingo. And I put the cashmere and corduroy scent pack in her. I love this scent in the scent pack. It's amazing. Beautiful. I mean, I, I also love it in the wax. Um, I have a couple bags of cotton balls. I have them stashed in several places. Um, so I got through one that's holding some things. I like to stump that out. Made it through four bags. One, two, three, four bags of jumbo cotton balls. Guess what? Walmart is out of these right now. So I have some other cotton balls. Um, made it through, finished up, I should say. It's not like I got through that many, but I did melt a lot of wax this month. Um, and if you haven't already, check out my because I did not include, I'm not including those in this video, the um, Bring Back My Bars. Did a warm review on those. Um, Mardi Gras collection, Sensepirations, 
um, and Willy Wonka. So I went through all of that stuff too. <laughs> so check out those that video. Um, Christmas Cottage Cider, this is in our car. Um, it's okay, it's not my favorite in the scent circle. It has a weird note to it. Um, I can't believe how much stuff I made it through. Um, so, a Scentsy Vanilla, ah, bear with me. <laughs> a Scentsy Apricot Vanilla Body Cream. I absolutely love this. This is Heirloom Peach Apricot and Vanilla Ice Cream. It smells like Perry's Peach Ice Cream to me. I got this in clearance and I've had it ever since and it smelled just as beautiful as the day I got it. This is not one of those that turns a weird plastic scent. This holds up and it's magnificent and I wish I could buy all kinds of that. This on the other hand is quite full. Um, it's like up to here. This is Mahalo Coconut Body Cream. No, this is going in the trash. <laughs> Um, Hawaiian Lei Violet and Pineapple. This turns very plastic and I can't, I just can't smell that all day long. Plus like the tinge of the Mahalo Coconut and plastic, I don't like that. <laughs> so that one does not shelf life well. Um, I finished up Peppermint Mocha Cake Pops from Rose Girls. Like I said, I was getting last month at the very last day. Um, I still had a few pieces. <laughs> And I forgot that I hadn't done it because it fell down in my basket. So um, did that. And um, from Rose Girls, I did Every Night is Girls Night. I got this um, from my friend Lori. Um, this is Summer Scoop, Yankee Candle type. Raspberry meringue and vanilla macarons. I absolutely love this. I did this in the office. It was beautiful. It's such a, it's, it's gonna be really fun in the summer. <sighs> Gives me like strawberry swirl vibes. And I think that's the summer scoop but with the raspberry meringue and the, the vanilla macarons. I don't know. It reminds me so much of strawberry swirl from Sensi. I just, with a little, a little bit more and I absolutely love that. It's gorgeous. So thank you, Lori, I'm loving that. <laughs> um, she added it. I bought some teddy bees from her and she added that extra because she's a sweetheart. Um, and I'm having so much fun with that. <laughs> thank you. Um, I used up Saturday. Well, you know what? I'm just gonna mix this all up. So you're gonna get some skincare. You're gonna get some random things. So my apologies. I, I don't feel well enough to sort this out and I just want to get through this. So, um, yeah, Saturday skin, apple and peach, rise and shine, gentle cleanser. I love everything. Um, Saturday skin. I got this in my Ipsy glam bag for the little size. I love all of their stuff. I've completely enjoyed everything Saturday skin that I've gotten from Ipsy. So that was amazing. Um, Florin B Nectar of the Sea Vitamin C Serum Brightening 10% Vitamin C. I got this from Ipsy. I think this was in a, a boxy charm. It was okay. I love that it's in a glass bottle, but when it has like vitamins and certain, you know, skin beneficial chemicals. <laughs> um, they like essential oils and things they have to put them in class versus like plastic or anything so we had a nice little dropper it was fine i don't notice that it did much for me personally but i don't mind using it like i have a i haven't used it lately but i'm starting to use it with my serums um it's like a rose quartz i got it from ipsy it's like a rose quartz qua shea is that what it's called <laughs> It's like a little tool and it helps get the lymph lymphatic system cleared out of your face and neck and all that. So I just started using that the past couple days because I'm like, I noticed like some stuff here. I'm like, I need to get rid of that. <laughs> I feel like my lymphatic system is draining into my face. I don't like that. Um, and that's what that stuff is beneficial for is get all that fluid out of your lymphatic fluid yeah anyways 
I'm look that up. <laughs> Golden Fadden MD. This is a Supreme Serum serum um, that I got from Ipsy. It's okay. Um, glam or yeah, glam bag. It was fine. I don't dislike it. Um, so it almost reminds me of like a Vita packaging. Um, it was fine. It's so hard to tell with these little small sizes, except like cleansers and things. I know I like those, but like these serums and stuff. I don't really think they're big enough to tell. Um, I got through some eyeliners. Well, I shouldn't, this one I got through, these ones kind of dried up on me. Um, so like my obsidian one, it, it was a waterproof eyeliner. It's kind of sad because I really love this when it's not dried up, but it was time to throw that away. Um, I lost the lid on this one. <laughs> now this side still works. Um, so I'm probably gonna keep it for this um, black eyeliner side. So I'm gonna set that aside and keep that. I made it through this one and it's hard to tell because the lettering it's Lava Liner from, I think it's T-R-I-E-L-E -E Cosmetics. I love this one. You can tell because all this stuff came off of it. Um, I love this one. This was fantastic. I would totally buy that again. Um, Wing Woman from Lottie London. This was nice. Um, this one dried up on me, but, um, yeah, I like that one. And then Scone Tattooed Waterproof Eyeliner. I love the waterproof because then they don't just rub, like, my cat eyes. If I lay down or something, then, or if I rub my eyes or, um, they don't just rub off. So that one's fine, too. And then, um... This one kind of dried up on me a little bit too. This is um, Beauty Vault, I guess is, is the name of it. <laughs> it's okay. Um, I like these sort of brushes. I feel like these thin ones like give you kind of definition. That's the type I've used today. Not this in particular, but um, I think it's Iconic London that I have on today. Um, but I, I do love those type of brushes. And then made it through a perfume from Scentbird. I love this one. Loved it a lot. I want more. <laughs> this is so me. Um, this is Ariana Grande. Thank you, next. Loved, loved. I think this is like the coconutty one. I think there's a little, literally nothing left. I'm almost positive this is the coconutty one, and I loved it. Love, I loved all her stuff. Um, so highly recommend all the Ariana Grande. Um, with Sensi, I made it through the Arctic Kiss. Sorry that I'm shaking washer whiffs. This is the best washer whiffs I have ever used, ever. Oh my gosh. Like, I hope this comes to catalog. I will beg <laughs> constantly. It's sold out, so I'm hoping it comes to the fall winter catalog next year. If not spring summer, probably not, but you never know. Um, oh my gosh, that's phenomenal. That's out of this world phenomenal. The best washer whiffs they have ever made. And I thought Ocean was pretty Ocean, Fiji Flower, Windowsill Breeze. I thought they were all phenomenal. I'm obsessed <laughs> with Arctic Kiss. Um, some random bars that I went through. I was just feeling sweet orange and evergreen, so I went through this one. This is like nostalgia Christmas to me. Um, I don't know. It reminds me of being a kid growing up. Something about that one. Um, I finished up like wide open spaces, I think in the office, if I remember correctly. Oh no, I think I did this one in the bathroom. This is the or in the kitchen. This is the Play-Doh one. I lied. I don't like this one. I can't do this one. This is the one that I don't like, and it's only because the vanilla comes off like Play-Doh to me. It may not to most people, but to my poor nose, that comes off like Play-Doh, and I can't do that one. I only had, like, I think one cube left, and I put it out there. <laughs> um, 
cranberry pumpkin spice. I made it through this bar. Um, let's see who gave this to me. This was Virginia Snow. Thank you, Virginia. Oh, this is so pretty. So pretty. I had, I think, partial cubes, and these went out in my kitchen to try and use up partial cubes, like just a couple cubes. Um, that's my goal next year is to get through a bunch of these partial <laughs> clams. I can't. Uh, and then I made it through Wassel Wonderland. I had a couple cubes left in this one. This one came from... I can't read. I think Brenda Summers. Brenda, my friend from Canada, Brenda. Oh, I do love Wassel Wonderland. This was fun. I had a couple cubes I used up. Um, and then I had a couple cubes left of these, so I put them together as a melter's mixers. And I, I do think this is better. It's tolerable. I still hate pretty and plaid. It's way too sharp for me. Um, and that's just because the tree comes off super, super, super sharp to me. But pairing it with apple press was actually bearable. It wasn't great, but it was bearable. So try that. Apple press is amazing. That's in my club. Oh, that's the prettiest apple in the whole wide world. Um, and then pretty and plaid. I'm not even going to smell it. It's terrible. <laughs> it's just super sharp tree. I can't with that one. And it's so strong. Um, I'm feeling kind of bleh. Um, having some gingerbread Starbucks. We found some before Christmas. Um, at Walmart, they're trying to get rid of stuff, and we found some K-cup boxes for $5, and the gingerbread is really good. So there are two that I could have forced myself to use. Like, I could have, instead of doing a whole clam down here, I could have done half a clam and used up, like, half a clam of this one, and I could have put, taken the one that's in my bedroom out and put this in there. But you know what? These are two scents that I didn't want to force myself to use just to use them, just to get through them. Charlie's out there being a goofball. Um, so I did not make it through ocean air and coconut water. Ah, oh, this is my favorite, favorite scent from Scentsy from 2023. I get suntan lotion. I get pretty fresh air. Oh, it's just so pretty. It's in coconut. Um, and then Teddy B's iced woods and sweet birch. Yeah, this is my favorite. I love this so much and I don't want to waste it. Oh. Who knows when that'll come back to Teddy B's. So I'm not in a hurry to use that up and I didn't want to just force the issue. So those are the two that I haven't used um, from my melting basket. You guys, um, I have the list. This got all mishmash. I don't remember what prompt is what. Um, my apologies. I'm just gonna go through this. Um, not feeling like, fantastic enough to like, like um, go through exactly what I use for what prompt. Um, yeah, so forgive me for that. But I did the December melting challenge, my January melting basket. You'll see my choices, plus there's some extras in here. So if you wanna reference that, if you don't mind, <laughs> because I just, I don't know. I don't have the energy to go through. Um, what was what prompt, but I did, I finished up at the North Pole from Sassy Girl Aroma, um, sweet peppermint sticks with creamy rich vanilla. This is going in the kitchen. It's beautiful. I did this in the bathroom as well. It's like a creamy candy cane. Um, I did one cube of spiced berries in my bathroom upstairs. This is so pretty. I love the frankincense in this. Um, this I got from Brenda Summers, so thank you, Brenda. Um, this is currently going in my bedroom. And okay, so Dale has, Dale tested, I don't know if he does right now, but he tested positive for COVID um, like Thursday. And I got sick starting Thursday. Um, and he had been sick for like a week. He thought it was just a cold. <laughs> Until some people we knew came down with COVID and we're like, uh-oh. <laughs> um, this, I have not had any trouble smelling. He has. His smell is coming back today. Um, much better. You can smell like I have um, around the campfire going. Which fire goes? Charlie. <laughs> um, 
Might as well talk about those at the same time. So I have around the campfire going. Um, I had two partial clams of around the campfire, so I put that whole thing down here. He is smelling this. Um, it's I love it. It's beautiful. It's like a very sweet wood. So to me, it's cozy. It's like we have a fire going in a fireplace. Um, I love, love, love that. And it's very sweet, smoky to me. Um, and then cozy fireside is going in the bedroom. This is how I knew the whole time I could, I was smelling just fine because I, I would wake up in the middle of the night and still smell this and be like, yes. <laughs> and this is um, red hot cinnamon and clove buds. I know that's not the official scent notes, but I'm telling you that's exactly what our cozy fireside is. That's in my club. Um, I had a partial clam of frosted cedar. I used that up. Um, I'm planning to club this. I like this one. It's not super tree. It's kind of fancy. I don't know if it'll stay forever. I'm pretty sure it'll come back. If I need to drop some things, that might get dropped. Um, my very last official bar of um, Fearless by Nature. I used this up. It's like a sage prompt or something. Oh, I love this bar, um, but it was it was fun to use it up. This is a really soft, pretty sage and like fresh air to me. This is the prettiest sage to me that Sensi has is Fearless by Nature. Um, I had a partial bar of red currant wreath that I used up. Again, this is another one I, I want to club. This is super fancy Christmassy to me. It's like Christmas cottage, but better. <laughs> Less cinnamon, more wreath. I don't know, it's really pretty. Um, but again, I think it's popular enough, it'll come back. But, so if I need to drop things, I probably might drop that, but, cause I think that was popular too. And then Plum and White Woods, I used this up in our bedroom. Just a beautiful, wintry, perfumey, fancy scent to me, it's very perfumey. I had a partial bar of um, Sugar Plum Berry, did this down here in one of the rooms. This smells, if you were to blindfold me, I would not, I would have difficulty. If I just smelled this, I would think it's Blue Christmas. Now when I smell them together, I smell the difference. But to just hand this to me blindfolded, I would think it's Blue Christmas. It smells very much like Blue Christmas to me. Um, so I love that. I'm putting it in my club. I don't know if it'll stay. It's a very strong bar. It's like 9 out of 10. It's very strong. Um, used up, I do not like this bar, partial clam of Cherry's Jubilee. No, I don't even remember where I did it. It's like, I don't like cherry cough syrupy kind of scents and that comes off like cough syrup to me. I don't like it. It's not like baking cherries, like, um, cherry apple pie. Is that what it's called? <laughs> apple cherry, cherry apple pie. And that's in the catalog. I like that one. That's like a baking cherry. Um, that one? No, it's like candy cherry. I don't like it. I don't like this one. <laughs> candy, cranberry candy cane. Had a little bit I used up. This is weird to me. I don't think cranberry and candy cane go together, but that's just me. I'm not a huge fruity fan, so. Um, I did half of this bar in my kitchen. This is maple rum cake. I got this from someone, Brenda Summers. <laughs> um, Brenda, you made a lot of this possible. Thank you, thank you, thank you, you're amazing. So um, this was very nice. It was light in the kitchen. Um, it's a lighter bar, but. Uh, and then I used up um, red berries and spruce. I was feeling all the trees this past month. Um, I really like that one, but I actually think I like I, I actually do like Red Current Wreath better. I think I have a couple more of this one, but I'm not sad about using these up anymore because I actually like that better. Um. <clears throat> I used up a partial clam of um, Frosted White Pine. This is also going to my Scentsy Club. Um, I like this. I like the tree with the cologne. This one upstairs, I don't know. The second time doing this, I liked it more than the first time. The first time I'm like, oh, the cologne, I don't know. But then the second time, like, I appreciated it more. It's fancy to me. I don't know, I really like it. So I'm clubbing that, don't know if it'll stay, but currently in my club, maraschino sugar cookie, finished this one up. 
I think, like you guys, I had several, like, I think these are the cherry prompts. <laughs> um, I did this in the office. This is Sheer Woods. Um, this is very light. It's very, almost a little spa, but very body care. But it's like creamy. It's okay. It's not my favorite thing. Like I, I would go out of my way to buy more. Um, I have another bar. It's pretty. I just don't know that I'm in love with it. Um, it's fine. This one is sad too. <laughs> um, wooly slippers. This was a gift from my dear friend Brandy. <laughs> Brandy from Brandy's Bars to Bricks. Um, she knew I was dying, dying, <laughs> dying to try wooly slippers. This was so light and I did this in my bedroom. So I did four cubes in my polar panorama, four cubes in the diamond milk glass. It's such a pretty scent. It's so soft and it's so cozy and it's so pretty. But it's so light. Um, maybe a two out of 10, three out of 10. Yeah, probably a three out of 10. It was a little bit, a little bit stronger than lots of lavender in the bring back my bar. It, yeah, probably a three out of 10. It's so pretty, but it's so light. So I think in my January melting basket, I have fuzzy blanket too, I don't remember. Um, I might have put that back, but um, those are such, like this one is even lighter than fuzzy blanket. They're such soft bars and they do have a similarity. Um, they're not identical, but they do have a similarity to like snuggle up in Jamie time because those are so strong and they perform so well. I think I love them more. And if I were to club any, I would club those two. I did drop Fuzzy Blanket <coughs> from my club. Guys, forgive me. Um, I did drop Fuzzy Blanket from my club because it's just, it's light. It's so pretty, but it's light. And if I already have Snuggle Up, why? pay the extra to keep light bars you know what I'm saying but this is so pretty and I'm so blessed that I got to try this um thank you so much Brandy for sharing that with me that was absolutely precious and I treasured the fact that I got to to melt that so thank you um let's see Um, so in my kitchen, this, <laughs> what did I have going? Oh, so I, you guys, this was a weird day. Um, so I started out in my kitchen with L3 Waxy Wonders Coffee Bean Cupcakes. This is a scoopable coffee bean cupcakes at Tiffany's Palo Santo. Um, Dale and I did not like that. Um, it's coffee. He didn't get coffee. I got coffee, but it's strange. It has like a interest, and it must be the cupcakes at Tiffany and the Palo Santo. I don't know. It to me, it's a little bit sharp. It's it's almost like something isn't meshing well together. Dale just completely didn't like it. Um, so I took that out of the warmer in the kitchen, and I did um, four cubes of butter pecan. <coughs> Nobody gave me this one. Yeah, this one was mine. Um, I think I got this in a in a bundle. This overtook the two things. <laughs> this came out of the kit. These four cubes came out of the kitchen and overtook these two, which was so weird to me. Um, it just goes to show how well Scentsy Bars do. Um, beautiful, love butter pecan. But I had winter bisc. I had two cubes in four warmers, in, in each four warmers of winter biscuits. It was hard to smell winter biscuits and it was hard to smell black hood. I mostly smelled butter pecan from the kitchen. It was so weird. And I had two cubes of each of black hood going um, in the living room because I love the smoky scents. And I don't know why that overtook that and I'd st I struggled to smell those two. I have a tickle. <coughs> I may have to stop and get a cough drop. Um, because I still have several to talk about. 
trying not to be all coffee. <clears throat> Nobody wants to hear that. Um, and then I had, I think, a partial bar. Can you get me a cough drop because you love me in a tissue? <laughs> Um, sorry, Dale's right there. I did white pumpkin and driftwood. Um, used that up. This is so pretty. Thank you, you're a life <laughs> Um, hmm. <laughs> this is so pretty, but it's very fancy, it's very fancy, it's very sophisticated. Thank you. <laughs> um, it's pretty, it's like, uh, a men's cologne that's like pumpkin scented. Um, I think it's the men's cologne that I don't always love, 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 but I, it's pretty. <laughs> it's like, I can't get rid of it, but I'm not sure I'm absolutely enamored with it. But because it's a limited, um, a limited, I mean, these are going away t tonight at midnight. Uh, well, sensi time, 3 a.m. here. Um, I'm clubbing it because I like it. I'm not sure it's going to stay forever. Hopefully this comes back because they did such a great job. Um, I really like, I like the pumpkin. I like the cinnamon. It's the cologne I'm not 100% sold on, but I like it enough I want to clone it. Um, I did four cubes in my kitchen of cranberry crumble. This one's very pretty. Um, I like it a lot. I don't think I'm going to club this one um, at the end of the catalog, but I really like it. I have a couple bars of that. Um, I finished up Rum Pum Plum. Everybody? Okay. <laughs> Everybody loves this. Um, to me, this this reminds everybody else of like sweet plum pastry, which I don't understand because I don't like sweet, sweet plum pastry all that much. So, sweet plum pastry is almost cloying and kind of gives me a headache. It has like a burnt note I don't love. Um, this reminds me of a uh, walnut raisin muffin without like walnut raisin muffin has more spice but it's that same raisin kind of a smell um i do like this but to me it's so much like walnut raisin muffin without the spice um i prefer walnut raisin muffin myself because i love spice but i did club it um because i do like the raisin i just prefer walnut raisin muffin I did this in my bedroom, um, finished up, did this whole clam of um, NHL Fresh Ice. It's like um, like a creamy peppermint and sandalwood. It's kind of like a, a sexy hockey player <gasps> playing hockey. It's cute. Um, I finished up from Rose Girls um, Beach Bonfire. This is such a beautiful scent, but it was so light. And I, it's got vanilla lace, marshmallow fireside, and campfire marshmallows. Um, I did this in the office. You guys, it's so pretty, but it's so soft. I'm like, I don't know if I would buy more and just double up on what I, I mean, I did double up this time to use this up. It's just so pretty. Um, I just don't know if, if I would buy more or not. Just because it's so light and it may be the vanilla, but it's, it's a vanilla perfume. I should be able to smell it. I don't know. Finished up. <coughs> peppermint brush I don't like this it's like too faced me I ugh, all the smells are making me feel like I have to cough I'm the talking <laughs> um it's just I did this in my kitchen it's just not my favorite this is kind of coming out of the kitchen I just I like so many other I like pepper um perfect Perfect peppermint more. It was like a pure peppermint extract, whereas this is very I don't know, gum. I don't know. Um, finished up cozy chai. Vanilla walnut from the um, <clears throat> Bring Back My Bar that's coming out in January. To me, these are identical. And Cassie, my daughter, thought so too. Um, 
yeah, I, I think they're identical. I just don't think I'm a huge nut fan. It's like a creamy nut scent. Like, I don't get, like, chai spices. Like, to me, this is vanilla nuts. <laughs> it's identical, I swear. I, blindfold me, I wouldn't know the difference. Of um, cozy chai and um, vanilla walnut. Um, sorry, you guys, I'm falling apart. Um, I'm trying so hard. <laughs> Um, I had two cubes of each and I put this in the office upstairs. This was a, um, a re recommendation by Maki Roll. <laughs> so thank you. I just wanted to finish up and it was so good. Um, she, I assume it's a she. They suggested putting together Mighty Pine and Joy and Wonder. Those were so fun together. It's so pretty. Um, Mighty Pine, if you remember from last year, it's like a really like vapo. Vicks Vapor Rub. I guess it's Vapor. I always say Vapo. Vapor Rub. Um, camphor smell with the tree. And then Joy and Wonder is just kind of like... I don't know, like a nice um, cider kind of a smell. So they work really pretty together. So I use those up. And thank you, Maki Roll, for that suggestion. Um, oops. Well, I broke the rubber band. It's fine. Um, I got this bar from Michelle Howard. Thank you, Michelle. Um, but I used up, um, caramel chestnut upstairs in the office when I was working. It's so pretty. This is the most beautiful caramel and creamy, fancy chestnut. Oh, like that's a nut I can get behind is chestnut. Not to eat. Yuck. But, um, melting. Oh, gorgeous. Um, I finished up my bar of Palo Santo. I don't know why people don't like that. I love it. <laughs> to me, it's a beautiful sweet wood. It's way prettier than cedar wood to me. I don't know why people don't like that. I absolutely love it. Um, I had it in my club. I dropped it. Regret it. Wish it would come back. <laughs> um, and then Frightfully Delightful, the Disney bar. I, you know... I don't, I think it's like pumpkin and peach. I don't, I don't like the peach with the pumpkin. I think it's weird. Dale likes it. I was going to club it. <laughs> um, I should get out of my club because my club is crazy. And I'm like, I don't even like that bar. Why? <laughs> He's fine. He doesn't care. Um, <clears throat> and then um, I used some of my lavender and speckles, peppermint sugar cookies. This is beautiful. It's like peppermint and sugar just like it sounds um her waxes always do well for me these ones are a little bit lighter um except this one <laughs> um i did christmas figgy palo i did have trouble smelling this one i think but i think i did like half like half of the room and whatever was in the other room was stronger and so it was harder to smell it's a pretty scent. It's like black plums, juicy fig, fresh balsam, spiced cinnamon, vanilla, and palo santo. I need to do like this, like through the hole downstairs. I think um, this is good. And then I love this. This is going in the kitchen and I could, this came out of the kitchen um, into the other rooms. This was beautiful. And I had other orange scents going at the same time. Um, this is this is gorgeous. I absolutely 100% need more of this. More of this. This is Christmas wreath. This is sparkling citrus with nuances, a fresh pine, warm spices on a soothing musky background. This is winter citrus wreath, Bath and Body Works type. Amazing, amazing. The prettiest orange scent ever. And Dale could smell it um, when his nose was up to it, um, and he said it was beautiful. It's the prettiest orange scent ever. <laughs> like, I love that. I'm obsessed with that. Um, used a little bit more. I only have two left. <laughs> of um, Lavender and Speckle still. Um, vanilla Sugar, Marshmallow Fireside. My favorite scent notes in the whole world. This is Warm Vanilla Sugar, Palo Santo, and Marshmallow Fireside. It's perfection anymore. <laughs> that's, that's absolutely gorgeous. Like, beautiful. I love everything about that. <laughs> Um, I could melt that every day for the rest of my life and be happy. <laughs> um, I did snowflakes. I think, was this upstairs? 
This might have been the same day I was doing Peppermint Rush and it was hard to tell because that was so freaking strong coming out of my kitchen. Um, Lucy Snowflakes, this is Sweet Peppermint, Rich Vanilla Buttercream, and a Touch of Spearmint. I absolutely love the spearmint in this one. Oh, I might have, no, I think it might have been out here. Um, Dark Old Peppermint Rush. <laughs> oh, God, that's so pretty. It is, it's like a beautiful peppermint buttercream and spearmint, just like it sounds. It's beautiful. I would love more of that. Um, I think I did this one in the kitchen. This is Palo Santa. Donut Shop Palo and Roasted Pine Cone. Um, I did like, I cut one in half and I did, I remember, I did one in half there and one in the mini warmer. Um, this was nice. I, I don't always think I'm the cinnamon, the donut shop fan. Cinnamon sugar donuts, I don't always love that. I like the Palo and I like the pine cones. It's so pretty though, it's really pretty. Um, but there's one that I got that doesn't have the donut shop that I think I like a little bit better, believe it or not. Um, cause I actually just like the Apollo and the pine cones. Um, this was pretty too. This was on a tree day where I had all kinds of stuff going. This is roasted pine cones, Palo Santo. Um, this is old Christmas tree. Oh, so good. So good. I love the pine cones and the, this is the one. <coughs> It's just missing the donut shop. Like, I love this. I have several of these. Like, to me, that's perfect. <laughs> that's absolutely perfect. I love the Palo and the pine cones. That's amazing. And then um, I did gingerbread and eggnog. Now, I had trouble smelling this one. Um, but I had other stuff going, trying to melt as much as I possibly could. This is sweet and slightly spicy. Gingerbread blended with strong eggnog and creamy vanilla bakery um yeah this is lighter to me I, I want to let this one this might be the only one I have with this one I want to let this one wait till next year um because I absolutely love ginger gingerbread and eggnog I want to make sure I can smell that one really well so I'm personally laying that one cure um and then all my sassy girl brittles <coughs> um I really love this one. A balsam milkshake. This is balsam for pe and peppermint milkshake. Holy moly, is that good. That's like the most perfect thing ever. Wow. <laughs> Who knew you could like balsam and peppermint milkshake together? Amazing. Candy cane cocoa. This was phenomenal too. This is hot chocolate whipped cream and candy cane. Wow. Wow. Smells just like it. And the chocolate is amazing. It smells just like a candy cane hot cocoa, like hot cocoa. More than like weird chocolate, like it smelled like hot cocoa. <laughs> um, did like that one too. I did bonfire blurries. Um, this is so snowy, so cozy blend of toasted marshmallow, pink lavender, and cashmere woods. Um, this is pretty, this is really pretty. And this, is this the one I'm trying to remember is this the one that changes on warm and turns into like even more magical goodness I think it is like um it smells pretty on cold but then when you warm it it comes alive I'm pretty sure this is the one and I was like whoa that's gorgeous um yeah. um I finished up <laughs> Winter's Eve Scentsy Brick. Yay, go buy good readings. I don't like this one. It's too masculine. I don't know. I just, I don't, I don't like that one. Glad that's gone. I finished up all but a cube. Huh. Well, guess what I'm doing tomorrow? <laughs> Getting rid of um, Spiced Eggnog Scentsy Brick. I still have a small clam of it. I, it gets, um, don't like it anymore. I loved it. Loved it when it first came out. Sorry. The oils make my nose itchy. Um, like they tickle. <laughs> I love the eggnog scent, the nutmeg scent, but the vanilla in this almost comes off a little waxy to me. 
I don't love that. Um, I was hoping someone at my Christmas vendor event would buy my little clam. They did not. Um, I don't. I just smell this to see if I remember. Hoodie Weather from Sassy Girl Aroma. That's another thing about doing all of these so fast and then bring back my bars. I'd remember some of them. Yeah, I think this was soft. I'm um, sorry, it's one of the stray cats out there. Um, so pretty. I actually really like this. Um, I think that's Rusty. He's like our new um, cat clan member. Cat cult. I never never called him. So I like hoodie weather. Um, look forward to enjoying things more and not going so fast. Um, I actually really like this one. I have a star on it. I really liked it. Um, cinnamon and spruce, northern pine, Douglas fir, blue spruce, spicy cinnamon, clove, rosemary, and woody cedar. Um, this is such a pretty combination, and it it's even better on warm. Like on cold, I'm like, oh, I don't know. Um, but when it was warming, it was gorgeous. Um, more like Christmas Cottage from Scentsy kind of a thing. I don't know. It was, but a little bit fancier. This is not as heavy on the red hot cinnamon. It's like she blends it really well. So it's kind of even. I, it was, it was gorgeous. I have a star on it. That means I really loved it. Um, like really loved it. This is one of, I think this is Charity's favorite. Well. Girl, I see why. I'm obsessed with this. Um, I hope she, I plan to beg for this next year. <laughs> I have a bag and now this. Um, this is the most amazing thing ever. Cookies under the Christmas tree. I have a star on it. Pine sugar cookies and vanilla bean. Who knew? I mean, I know I've heard you guys say bakery and tree. Oh. And when this is warming, that the cookie kind of smell comes out with the trees and it's literally magical. Charity. <laughs> You're onto something with that one. That's amazing. Um, oh, my nose is so itchy. Um, Sassy Girl Aroma smuggling by the, snuggling by the fire. <laughs> I'm trying to hurry. I still want to do my January melting basket <laughs> and then go lay down. <laughs> we'll snuggle up and watch movies with you. <laughs> Um, we have like a shrimp ring and, um, oh, that's for tomorrow. Oh, maybe we'll do that tonight. I don't know. We have Verdi. <laughs> We're all prepared. Um, snuggling by the fire. This is a warm, comforting scent reminiscent of snuggling up by the fireplace. Um, this is pretty. How to describe this? It's kind of like you're in a lodge. And it's snowy outside, but you're cuddling up by the fireplace. It's not overwhelming. It's not super smoky. You get like a hint of this smoke, but it's cozy. I don't know. It's really pretty. Um, I had trouble smelling this one. Maybe it's just me and egg dog this year. Um, drunken elves, but it might have. Trying to think what was going. Might have been done gingerbread and eggnog and the scentsy brick of, I don't know you guys, but eggnog with cream, sugar, cookies, and nutmeg. I love it, but for some reason, like the eggnog is coming up, coming off soft to me. So I kind of want to let this one sit and cure because I don't know, I think it's just me and, and eggnog this year. Um, so that's another one I'm going to let sit and cure. I'm gonna hope for the best next year. I did two cubes of this in my bathroom. You guys, I think this is one that Robin requested. It's like a nest scent. Favorite holiday. Citrus blend of grapefruit, orange, lemon, mandarin, eucalyptus, fir needle, fresh pine, cinnamon stick, cloves, pomegranate, vanilla, fresh cut cedar. Boy, is that like citrusy and refreshing. Like almost grapefruit. Uh, 
and you get like the pine and you get like the eucalyptus and the fir. I don't know. Like it's very nice and it's very refreshing. Um, it's actually really nice in the bathroom. So I did those two, um, trying to get through things. Um, and then I have one more section. <laughs> Oh, and then I did, this one has a star on it. On cold, I'm like, I don't know that it's the greatest thing ever. I'm not sure I love it, almost gifted it. And I'm like, let me melt this first. Oh my gosh, was this the most magical thing ever? On warm. Uh, it's funny that I just said that. Magical winter forest. You guys, woody freshness of fur, invigorating mint, and serene hinoki wood evokes. This is something magical. That's like the prettiest thing. Like when I first got this, I felt like the mint was really kind of powerful at the tree. I was like, eh. um, it's like any other minty tree, you know? Oh. Like the hinoki wood comes out. I don't know, this turns into something absolutely magical, just like it says. <laughs> I have a star on that. I 100% want more of that. That's phenomenal. That's the prettiest thing. I can't even. This is a good one. Um, Whoville. It's nice and fruity. Um, holiday. Sorry, I feel kind of uh, again. Um, this is orange and apples with cranberries and a hint of sugar and spice. This is pretty. It's like fruity. Like, I don't even know how to describe that. Um, cranberry, it's just fruity. <laughs> I don't know. It's like a holiday appropriate fruity. Um, oh, this over here. I did this in the office and I, I love this one. I know it sounds like a Halloween scent and I got <laughs> um, wax on it, so ignore that. But it's actually very Christmassy to me. It's um, Shrunken Head Shop. Oh, I love this. Orange, a lemon zest, pine, cinnamon, clove, balsam, amberwood, frankincense, incense. It's beautiful. It's such a beautiful Christmassy scent. I love it. It kind of reminds me of Wassail Wonderland a little bit. Um, it's magical. So oh, I love Shrunken Head Shop. <clears throat> this was pretty. Did this in the office while I was working. This is chestnuts roasting on an open fire. Um, hint of marshmallow and campfire with sweet chestnuts and brown sugar. It must be the chestnuts. That is such a beautiful scent note. Um, it just made, this was almost bakery to me, which I guess with the marshmallow and the chestnuts and the brown sugar. Um, I, here I thought it might be a little more smoky. It was bakery. Like, I'd have thought this was some bakery item, but it was like creamy and beautiful. That shocked me. Um, didn't it didn't turn out like I thought. I did do cubes of this in the bathroom. It's okay. Um, this is Silence in the Library. It's old paper, antique woodwork, vanilla perfume, cedar dust. To me, it's perfumey. It's okay. It was soft. It wasn't obnoxious or anything. Um, I did one cube of this in the bathroom. This is very cinnamon forward to me um and for some reason i don't absolutely love it <laughs> um and normally i love red hot cinnamon but i don't know um it's the smell of christmas and it's a warm fragrance with notes of cinnamon and spices um it's so cinnamon forward i think it's i think it's the actual cinnamon oil it's not very red hot cinnamon to me it's more of like a I don't know that I'd say, to me it's more like a cinnamon bark and I don't always love the cinnamon bark scent. No, I think that's what I don't love about that one. Um, it's just different. And then I have a star on this one, you guys. This was magical. I did this, hi, creamer. Um, I did this the same time that I did uh, the Magical Winter Forest. What an amazing day that was. I tell everybody, hi, creamer. Hi, he's my sweet boy. Uh, my favorite man. Uh, yeah. Say hi, people. Yeah, you're my love bug. Oh, Puffy's gonna get high enough for you to see him. He's a sweet man. Um, this is under the mistletoe. This is eucalyptus, 
for pine cedar clove. It doesn't sound that amazing. He's coming up on the table. That's my light. <laughs> um, he's like, what is all of that stuff? He needs to investigate. There's something, and it's probably the eucalyptus, that's so fresh and clean. And yet Christmassy. Ah. Oh. This one is magical too. Like I just, this in Magical Winter Forest and Balsam Milkshake was really good, but this in Magical Winter Forest, oh, under the mistletoe and cookies under the Christmas tree. Um, best Christmas. <laughs> I just, I told you I was feeling all the trees. This is, and I'm not really treed out. <laughs> um, I just want to try all the things. <laughs> This is fresh pine needles, sweet cinnamon sugar, and roasted marshmallow. This was pretty. This was pretty. Um, I think it's the marshmallow. I think because the marshmallow tones down the tree, I think that's why I really love this. It's beautiful. It's a good one. Um, my wish for Christmas. This one has a star. I don't know what it is with the trees in the bakery. <laughs> Um, you guys are right. Um, this is my wish for Christmas. It's freshly baked sugar cookies surrounded by pine, pine cones, scented in a fireplace. I actually love Chris cookies under the Christmas tree more, but this is really pretty. Like, so pretty. Are you playing in my basket? Don't fall off. So make sure. Yeah. Make sure you don't fall off. Oh, buddy. Huh. You can't see him. He's super cute. That's a good one. If you like um, trees and bakery, sorry to be going so fast. <laughs> um, by the Christmas tree, this is berry, fir, balsam, vanilla, and musk. This was very nice. Um, I can't say, I thought with the berry, it might remind me of just for you. Um, it has like a similarity, but it's not identical um but berries and trees are very nice together it's like the berries toned down the trees too this one this one should have a star let's see if one of these pencils works okay i just put a star on this with one of my mascara <laughs> or um eyeliner pencils that aren't completely dried out but dried out enough you can't do a whole line mrs claus's lattes <laughs> it's not the same as the closet latte that I had, like a mint cocoa. This is magical. Gingerbread latte, fresh brew coffee, sugared snickle, snickerdoodle. Oh, I need a loaf of that. That's magical. Like, that's magical. That's the best. I love that. Yeah. Um, holiday market was very nice. Um, winterberry apricot orange peel. Oh, this one has apricot. Hmm. I might need to set this aside and do this again. Winterberry, apricot, orange peel, chilled air, winter bouquets, soft gingerbread treats, balsam fir wreaths, sugared spruce, no, spruce cleave garland, and mossy woods. So it's very nice. It's very Christmassy. I don't know what to say. It's just a beautiful, kind of like Christmas like a Hallmark Christmas movie, like Chris, like you think Christmas should smell. Uh, let me set that aside. And we did this one. This was nice. Berries and ce cedar and berries. Um, citrus and ozone is punctuated with a bright heart of red currant and bayberry with a warm cedar and oak moss base. Um, this was pretty. It's like berries and like another wreath kind of a smell it's very pretty i like that a lot um and then snowy lodge last but not least um this is smoked embers light citrus pine patchouli cedar wood shavings white musk um this is very pretty i like it a lot um it's fresh the citrus gives it like this refreshing tone the patchouli is ever so light. I don't even know that it's in there except that it said it is. Um, I don't know. It's, it's refreshing. It's cozy. It feels fancy. 
Um, and yeah, um, sorry <laughs> for the mess that I am today, but that's my empties for December 2023. Um, I'm going to do my January melting basket and sorry, <laughs> but, um, yeah, so thanks to everyone, um, just for supporting the channel, for tuning in to us, joining Dale and I, um, all like you guys, I've reflected over this past year and you guys have been so thoughtful and so kind, um, just all the friend mail, um, just in the many, many ways you guys um, support us, whether it's comments or you've sent friend mail or um, Christmas cards or um, mentioning <laughs> me and your chat, like everything. You guys have just been so nice and I've been so blessed and I'm so grateful. And I wouldn't be where I am today without all of you guys and um, your friendship and your support. And I just appreciate all of you and thank you for being a part of this journey with me. Um, it means more than you'll ever know. And I hope that you guys have an amazing 2024 tomorrow and happy new year and cheers. Hope it's a good one. Bye.